Hey guys, uh, Shimano M785 brakes, quite simply in my opinion the best brakes available today. They don't have the exotic uh, bling factor of Hope brakes, what they do have is reliable braking power on tap. I'll just quickly go over a few of the features beforehand. First of all you've got short, stri uh, short stroke servo wave mechanisms for quick pa pad engagement so you get more power for aggressive riding. Uh, it's got uh, oversized 22mm twin ceramic pistons optimized for heat station making them uh, also lightweight and, and stiff. Uh, you've got lightweight forged caliper design that increases rigidity and uh, reduces the weight as well as that you've got forged alloy bright brake levers for optimum strength and reliability and it also uses like most Shimano brakes uh, mineral oil uh, rather than conventional hydraulic fluid so it's um, less corrosive on your hands before when you need to give it a bleed uh, the brake lever features a reach and free stroke adjustment which is a godsend for people with small hands like me as well as that you've got a uh, hinged clamp for quick installation and it's also uh, ice spec compatible um, so you can attach your ice spec uh, shifters so you can save yourself a couple of grams of weight and some space on your handlebars also in the XT brake range uh, you've got uh, you can also buy ice tech uh, brake discs and also uh, ice tech fin pads they're pretty expensive but I've run the brakes with and without both of those and uh, they still bite well uh, the rotors I think they retail around 50 pounds and the pads are 20 pounds so they're not exactly cheap uh, but you can shop around and they are cheaper than that online okay so what's it like on the trail uh, the brakes give you a lot of confidence to go fast and push yourself modulation is perfect there's a lot of, uh, of modulation, uh, various options such as the uh, lever adjustment combined with the well designed lever, you really feel one with the machine. Uh, one finger braking is, re is a reality basically with these, uh, with these brakes. The downside is if you hit the brakes hard you will go over the handle pass as I've done a couple of times uh, with these brakes. Uh, in theory the fin pads and the ice tech rotors uh, help cool the brakes faster but unless you're doing 30 minute descents down Snowden or something extreme um, I, I think uh, non ice tech uh, gear is probably uh, enough for most of us humans. In summary uh, these brakes are, are pretty awesome. Uh, and if you can get them on sale, they're definitely worth the money. I bought mine for around £120 from Rose Bikes in Germany, but I think uh, the retail price in the UK is closer to around £200. So um, if you are on a budget, uh, it's also worth looking at the new SLX brakes, which are pretty good for the price, and also even the new Dior's. Um, as the features from the M785 are now slowly uh, starting to trickle down to uh, to the SLX and DO ranges. Okay guys, um, thanks for watching my review and stay tuned for more reviews in the future.